Hello! Welcome to Easy English at Home YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to use adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner. They describe how we do certain things in life. So actually they're all answering the question how. So let's focus on that. How? Think about your everyday life. How do you speak English? Fluently. Yeah. Why not? Fluently. How do you walk? Slowly. Okay. How do you drive? Carefully. Hopefully you're careful. Okay. So carefully. How we do different things in life. There is one thing in common. When you're talking about how you do things, you form adverbs using adjectives. Look, fluent, slow and careful are actually adjectives, right? And when you add an ly right after the adjective, you form adverbs and you talk about how you do some certain things. Yes? So, the rule here to form an adverb is to add an ly right after the adjective. Okay? This is the general rule. Now, let's see how adverbs of manner are different from adjectives in a sentence. For example, he is a careful driver. Here, the word careful is an adjective because it comes before a noun. Driver is a noun. So, this is an adjective. He is a careful driver. Let's think about the action itself, driving action, right? He drives carefully. How does he drive? In a careful way, carefully. So, carefully here is an adverb. If there is an object in the sentence, the adverb can come right after that, as in this example. He drives the car carefully. So, the general rule, as we said earlier, is to add an ly right after the adjective. But there are different cases also in forming adverbs of manner. In this chart, we're going to look into that together. So, let's see. Number one is an example for the general rule. Bad becomes badly. For example, I sing badly. What about you? I sing badly. So, how do I sing? Badly. Another example here, easy. Easy ends with a Y. So, when you're forming an adverb, you need to replace the Y with an I. Easily. Okay? For example, I can drive a car easily. What about you? Another example here we have is silly. Silly is an adjective, but the adjective itself has an ly right at the end. When you are forming an adverb of manner with this word, you cannot add an ly. There is something different you do here. You use in a phrase, you say, he, an example here, he speaks in a silly way. So we use a different phrase here because we can't add an ly. In, in a blah blah way. Another example for this would be friendly. Yes, friendly is an adjective. He speaks in a friendly way. How does he speak? In a friendly way. Okay, so keep that in mind. Another example, an exceptional case here is with the word good. Yes, it's an adjective. When you are forming an adverb, it changes form completely. It becomes well. For example, I speak well. Or you can say, I can cook well. What about you? So you don't say goodly. It's the wrong form. You need to say well. Right, and similarly, exceptional cases don't end here. So we have the hard, late, and fast. These three adjectives don't go with an ly. They stay as they are. They don't change form. For example, I study hard. I study hard. I study a lot. So how do I study hard? Another example, late. He comes late. So, late here modifies the verb. How? Late. Another one, fast. 
he can run fast. So there is no ly. They don't change form. And the last example here, another exceptional case is with hardly and lately. These two words have an ly at the end, yes, and they have a completely different meaning. They change form and they change meaning. So hardly means almost never, and it has a negative meaning. An example for this would be, I can hardly hear you. I can hardly hear you. It means I can't hear you. Your volume is very low. Yes, I can't. So I can hardly hear you. Another example would be, I can hardly rest. That means I work a lot. Yes? Lately means recently. Recently. These days. Yes? An example for this is here. I haven't seen Mike recently. I haven't seen him these days. Let's practice. I want you to think about how you do these activities in your life. I will be answering them for myself. And with me, you do the same for yourself. So, how do you usually wake up? I wake up in a happy mood, so happily, right? I wake up happily. Remember, the Y is replaced, yes, replaced by an I, happily, okay? Good. How do you eat a Sunday breakfast? I usually eat it very slowly, yes? Slowly, taking my time. What about you? How do you usually walk? I usually walk fast. So remember, fast is an ir irregular one and you don't add an ly, it is always fast. Speak, how do you usually speak? I usually speak excitedly. Excitedly. What about you? Um, how do you usually listen to your friends? I listen to my friends carefully. Yes, they are important, so we need to listen to them carefully. Another one, how do you usually drive? Well, I usually drive slowly and carefully. Slowly and carefully. How do you think? Well, I usually think deeply. What about you? Deeply. And the last example, how do you treat people around you? Politely, I guess. Yes, politely. In a kind way, politely, or you can say kindly. Yeah. Good job, everyone. Are you ready for the final practice of the day? I want you to look at the pictures and complete the sentences with me. And think about how they do what they're doing. Picture one. They're walking, look, happily, yes? They're walking happily, okay? Second picture, he is walking slowly, yes. He's walking slowly. Picture three, she is singing beautifully. You can as well say well. She's singing beautifully, okay? You can also say well. Another one, picture four, is about a woman shopping. So she can't decide on which one to buy easily. Yes? Easily. Okay? Now, picture five. They're listening to the teacher quietly. Yes? Quietly. And picture six. She can drive well. Yes? Very well, you can as well say. And the last picture, he draws project plans carefully. Of course, carefully. No mistakes here. Let's have a look at today's keywords and phrases. We learned how to form and use adverbs of manner. We add an ly to the end of the adjective to describe how we do an action. 
Let's have a look at the rules in the chart below. Bad, badly. Easy, easily. Good, well. Hard, fast and late stay the same. Friendly, in a friendly way. Silly, in a silly way. Hardly means almost never. I can hardly hear you means I can't hear you. Lately means recently. I haven't seen you recently. I haven't seen you lately. Thank you for watching. You can find the practice files for this lesson on the link in description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.